Hello Cancer, welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to get you some important love messages that you need to hear today. And this video will be uploaded to both of my channels, Chelsea Love Tarot and Chelsea Tarot 2.0. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. Today is the 4th of March 2023. Time here in Marseille, France is 9.11pm. All right, Cancer, let's get our reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me important love messages that Cancer needs to hear today. Um, and I apologize for this late reading because I've been traveling. I was traveling from Australia to France and it, it took me about 40 hours <laughs> to get here. And also my luggages were missing, so I just got them back this morning. And on top of that, I've been feeling really sick. <laughs> But anyway, we've got the sun here at the bottom of the deck, Cancer. This for me indicates a new or positive, new positive beginning, or you're gonna finally feel happy again when it comes to love, okay? This is very interesting. We've got one, two, three. Three major arcanas here. Hmm. I think the sun can also indicate illumination. Somebody's seeing things very clearly for what they have done in the past. Cancer, I feel like there could be someone who has been thinking a lot about you, Nine of Swords and Lovers. Very strong um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, or could be Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Could also be a fire sign, um, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. I think this is, again, the sun is like a positive thing where... This person may have realized something about you, something very positive about you, and also could be realizing whatever they have said to you, King of Swords and Reverse, was wrong. Seven of Swords and Reverse is them finally realizing, again, what they did was wrong, right? Because the Four of Cups is right here. For those of you, Cancer, if you've been ignoring somebody, rejecting someone, this person has been ruminating over what they have said, what they have done. I see them actually acknowledging, whether they tell you or not, this person is actually acknowledging um, the fact that they, that you may have released this person, that you may have rejecting or may have rejected this person because they were toxic or maybe they have said something wrong. Maybe they have done something wrong here as well. It could be lying, it could be cheating, it could be anything. But something was wrong. I feel like this person has said something wrongly or have done something wrong, okay? We've got the lovers here, Emma verse. We've got the king of pentacles. I feel like they made the wrong choice. Again, wrong choice of words or wrong choice of actions, or it could be both, okay? Seven of Wands here is in love first, and we've got the Page of Wands in love first. So this is somebody I feel that, <laughs> this is somebody, because the Page is a messenger, and it's in love first, King of Swords. I don't know why you've been dealing with this person though, Cancer. Please bear in mind that roles can be reversed, yeah? This is somebody whom could have given you a lot of stress, seven of wands in reverse, decided, you know, I'm done. I'm not going to fight for this connection anyway, anymore, because both of you may not be on the same page with the lovers in reverse, or maybe this person just doesn't get it. It just feels like this person doesn't get it or didn't get it, but finally is getting it with the sun. Yeah, that's what I'm sensing here. This person is finally getting it, or will be. If they still don't get it right now, they're going to get it eventually. Because it feels very exhausting, Cancer, dealing with this person. It feels like it is way, way too exhausting having to deal with this person's drama or this person. Like, like they don't get it. That's what I keep sensing. Don't get what they... They don't get it um, as in... 
whatever you've been trying to say to them or whatever you have done to try and make them understand and see with the sun here, they still don't get it. <laughs> I keep feeling this, I, I sense this frustration right now, Cancer, unless again, roles are being reversed here, but, but finally someone is gonna get it, okay? And the sun here. <laughs> I'm gonna pull out more cards. Yeah, two of ones in reverse, and then the Hierophant. The Hierophant indicates learning as well, teaching and learning. Maybe this person has learned from their lessons ever since you rejected them with the Four of Cups here. And you could be embodying the King of Pentacles. I mean, maybe this person is realizing that you were the one who was always like there for them, the one who was stable, and that you know you deserve better, hence you may have cut this person off, yeah? Because the King of Swords here is in my words, you may have cut this person off and stop talking to this person, and because of that, I feel with the Hierophant here. Also maybe because something didn't work out in their life that could have made them realize something here with the sun that you may have loved this person unconditionally or almost unconditionally and you made them realize with the two of wands in the that they made the wrong choice. However, Cancer, remember um, when we talked about the sun much earlier on in this reading, the sun indicates something positive, a new love is coming in, right? Ace of Cups. For those of you who are single, I see a new beginning in love. Um, and two wands here in my verse, finally making a choice. Someone is finally going to choose you or you're going to choose this person. Both of you are going to finally choose each other, okay? I see this as a very happy union. And the Hierophant can indicate both of you will end up making things official. But if you're currently connected with someone new as well, I see it turning into something official. Could turn into a marriage as well. Or both of you will agree upon something here, okay? Uh, could be agreeing upon having kids or not having kids or adopting pets or adopting children. That's just for some of you. Let's pull out a few of these romance angels here. Let's find out more. See? Very soon, very soon there's something. Either you, if you're completely single, very soon you're going to meet someone new. It's going to make you feel really happy with the sun here. This person could be a Leo, could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, could be a Fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. But if you're currently connected with someone, it looks like the connection will be taken to the next level due to the Hierophant here. Keep an open mind. Maybe this is someone very different from you are. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So this person could be very different from your usual type. It could just also be someone very positive in your life, someone who is going to contribute positively into your life rather than this negative energy from your past with the devil in our first. Let's see more. Let your friends help you. I don't know why I keep getting this card. This card has come out like five, six times already. Um, not just your reading, other readings as well, other sign readings. But let's see more. some of you, this let your friends help you, you know, it could be an indication of a friend whom is actually going to help you connect with someone new, okay, for those of you who are single, unless, you know, it could be you asking, I used to have, like, where, uh, guy friends who would always ask me, um, Charles, do you have anyone that you can introduce me to, someone single, <laughs> so, um, yeah, usually it's when, like, I'm, I'm usually in a relationship most of my life. I think the longest I've ever been being single is, was, I think, this year, last year. Oh, sorry, last year, about seven, eight months. But it was by choice. I didn't want to, because I've always been in long-term relationships. I was done being in long-term relationships. I wanted to just be alone for a while. Um, but now I do have a boyfriend. It's... 
he he's new. He's it's a new boyfriend. But this card always reminds me of you know let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. When it comes to love, um, I have introduced some of my friends. You know, while I was in a relationship, I have introduced some of my friends uh, to some other some some like you know introduced my friends to other friends, the, the single ones, and it has become successful actually they've been together for a long time i think a few couples have done that i've introduced them so some of you cancer either it could be a friend coming to you saying that hey i have somebody to um, introduce you to um this is definitely a spirit's way of saying don't say no just go just go put yourself out there and go on dates blind dates um yeah <laughs> that's what i'm seeing right here so we've got separation separation you know, this has already happened. We are already seeing this here. Somebody you could be separated from, I think possibly is going to see very clearly who you are essentially as a person. Um, they, may, they may tell you the higher fund here that they've learned from their lessons. That's just for some of you. Pay attention to the red flags. Yeah, I think this is someone from your past. And also, Cancer, if you have someone new coming in, um, Spirit says, you have been through a lot already here. You've seen, you know, Seven of Swords and Lovers. You've been lied to or cheated on, being treated, mis being mistreated. So Spirit says, you should know by now. Um, what are the red flags? So, yeah. I think there's someone from your past, right? The devil. This person might come around and offer you love. But this for me indicates, even if this person says that they have changed Maybe they haven't quite changed yet. It's really hard to somebody to change. I'm not saying that it's impossible, but yeah, I think this person might take a while before they would change completely. That's what I'm seeing here. So playfulness. Yeah, maybe this person still wants to play. This person is still kind of, you know, huh. maybe this person is not 100% ready. That's what I'm seeing here, Cancer. But... Again, this for me, playfulness and the very soon card, I feel like this could be someone new, yeah? The sun and the ace of cups. This, you know, the sun is a very playful energy as well. Maybe this person is younger than you are or has a very playful spirit about them. Um, very happy, positive, playful, cheeky kind of an energy, yeah? Very pure energy, Ace of Cups, very genuine person. That's what I'm sensing here. But, you know, I see a lot of you, Cancer, you're releasing someone from your past. Another thing I'm sensing here, Cancer, King of Pentacles. At first, you may, you may doubt this person, right? This new person coming in. Uh, you may doubt them. <laughs> you, you may not think that they are serious, but... It's going to change. I think you're going to change your perception in regards to this person. Because even though this person has a very playful nature, but they're actually able to commit. But they're somebody very serious when it comes to their work, their career, their money, when it comes to their relationship. This person is or will be committed. But I think in the beginning, you're not going to kind I don't see. I don't see you trusting that this person will be committed, but it looks like you're gonna see, you're gonna see eventually that this person can be trusted. And it could turn into, again, the higher fund here, a very serious connection. All right, Cancer, this is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Um, feel free to subscribe to both of my channels, Chelsea Love Tarot, which is my original channel, and Chelsea Tarot 2.0. That's my newest channel where I only post uh, individual sign readings. Take care, Cancer. Hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow. Bye.